Hello, Ahoahele. Welcome to Liquid Luau. On this episode, we'll be making the Cliff Dweller from Moga's Cantina at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I've been showing you all how to make tiki cocktails at home, but I recently worked on a collaboration with the fellas at I Am Geek Show that I'd love to share with you here too. Hosts Chris, Ryan, and Chris are all big Star Wars and Disney Parks fans, so when they asked me to mix a drink on their show, I knew it was the perfect opportunity to make something from Ogus Cantina, the bar in Black Spire outpost on the planet Batuu, also known as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. In our last few episodes, we've been exploring drinks using the pineapple juice, orange juice, coconut cream flavor combination, like the Tiki 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 Rum and the Monorail Yellow. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out those episodes later. As it turns out, there's a drink at Oga's Cantina that uses these three ingredients, along with a few others. It's a non-alcoholic cocktail called the Cliff Dweller, after the adorable porgs that appear in the movies The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Since it's an alcohol-free drink, I've asked my sons, Kieran and Phoenix, to help out making today's recipe. Say hi, guys. Hi. And they've got something to ask you. Phoenix? If you like this video, hit the thumbs up yep. button. And be sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video is released. Yes. <laughs> Should we show them the ingredients? Yes. All right, let's do it. Yes. Woo! To make the Cliff Dweller, you'll need the following. Orange juice with no pulp. Pineapple juice. A lime. Ginger ale. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this small can is enough to make a few. Cream of coconut. B.G. Reynolds Lush Grenadine. This is a special grenadine made with the flavor of hibiscus flowers, which makes it special. You can use regular grenadine instead, but it's not gonna taste the same. Um, you can get this at amazon.com or from BG Reynolds directly. I'll have links below and also on the website so you can get this. A few cups of crushed ice and a knife to cut the limes. A citrus squeezer to get the juice out of the limes. And a small measuring cup for, to measure things. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All, All right, right let's, let's get, get to mixing. mixing. All right, our first ingredient is going to be orange juice. So we are going to pour out three ounces of orange juice. And my mixing cup only does two ounces, so I've got to do this twice. So there's two ounces, and then I'll do one more ounce. There's our juice. Next up, we'll do the pineapple juice. I always use these small cans, but you could use big ones. We're gonna do three ounces of the pineapple juice. So again, two ounces, and then one ounce. Our next ingredient is gonna be lime juice. So we need one ounce of lime juice. So I'm gonna take this lime and cut it in half, as I often do. Uh, now, there's usually about one ounce of lime juice in a typical lime, so I'm gonna skip the measuring cup this time and just squeeze it right in. So there's a half ounce, and when I put in the other half of the uh, lime, it's gonna give me another half ounce. Uh, this is kind of a rule of thumb for decent sized limes. Uh, sometimes it's handy at parties. If you don't have a measuring cup with you, you can always pretty accurately get out a, an ounce of lime juice. Uh, works good for Mai Tais and things too, where there's uh, such even measurements. And then we're gonna get the ginger ale. Um, we're gonna use one ounce of ginger ale. Now the Disney recipe calls for Seagram's ginger ale, but you know, I'm sure you could use Canada Dry or whatever brand you have available. Then we're gonna get our BG Reynolds Lush Grenadine. We're gonna use one half ounce of Lush Grenadine. Now again, this Grenadine has a uh, hibiscus in it, so it's a little bit of a different flavor than a typical Grenadine. And that hibiscus makes a huge difference in this drink, so I really do recommend you get that one. Then we're gonna get uh, one ounce of cream of coconut. I'm using Coco Real in the squeezer. Uh, you can, of course, use Coco Lopez if that's what you can get at your local store. Then we're gonna get some ice to mix it, you know, so it gets nice and cold. Gonna grab my shaker top, pick it up and give it a shake. There we go. Oh yeah, like a good shake. Now I'm gonna take out my tiki mug. If you have a porg mug from, from the Oga's Cantina, that's great. I don't. Uh, so I'm just gonna pour that strained right into a tiki mug. And here we are, the Cliff Dweller. 
Usually I am not a huge fan of modern Disney drinks, but I have to say this one is remarkably well balanced. The ginger ale tampers down the coconut juice and the flavors allow the hibiscus to shine through. Now, what do you boys think? Try it. Um, this is great. Tastes like pineapple and orange juice combined. No. I have no clue. If you really want to add alcohol to the drink, you have to be careful that it doesn't overwhelm the balance of the flavors that it already has in it. I'd recommend using between a half ounce to an ounce of gin. The botanical flavor in the gin works nicely with the dinner and hibiscus without overpowering it. You could also use an ounce or two of a neutral vodka to give it a kick. One word of caution. While it's not overly sweet, this drink uses a lot of juice and soda with sugars. So while it may not get you tipsy, it could give you a sour stomach if you have too many. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications when new episodes are released. And be sure to leave comments or questions below. I'm always happy to help you learn more about making great drinks at home. So until next time, may the force be with you, Akole Maluna, and Kungaloosh! I drank it all. <laughs>